So showing off some of those tools like Add Selected, um, if I wanted to draw another uh, line segment or a series of lines based on existing properties, instead of me going up there and making sure what layer is set current, and I'm, I know that all, everybody that's online today never draws things on the wrong layer. It's just Jared and Stan's issue. Yeah, yeah. And I only wish. <laughs> but if I grab that and I right-click, one of the things that we have the ability to do is this tool called Add Selected. So what it does is it takes in consideration what you've selected. And I don't know if you can look up there on the ribbon, but you can see how, and let me just slow down. Initially, it was layer zero is what was set current. But if I select this and I right-click and go Add Selected, it just now instantly on fly uh, makes that layer current. And so now if I come in here and now draw my next pieces of geometry, it's exactly what the original is. So that's, you know, I'm all about saving picks and clicks. That's my, my big catchphrase. Uh, this, is, this should definitely save some picks and clicks. So if you have existing things that are already on the screen that are correct, uh, what's wonderful is you can then pick on that right click and get, get on with your life is what I'd like to say. Um, the other thing that uh, could be also a big deal is working with um, really complex or tight areas. Uh, a lot of us run into this day by day where things are sharing the same particular edge. And so one of the things that we have the ability down on the status bar is we have the ability to turn on this uh, selection cycling. Now we've had selection cycling in the past, uh, but it wasn't as what I would say as user friendly as what this is. And what happens is is that it has that little blue icon that puts, puts up or uh, pulls up next to my little cursor there. If I pick on this, what happens is is it comes in and says, well, Jared, are you trying to grab, what are you, what are you trying to select here? because we've got things that share the same edge. And so this is something that you can turn on and off. So sometimes this is really important, especially if you got hatch patterns that are sharing an edge with a polyline. And then of course that polyline is sitting on top of another line uh, because that's based on a different layer because you need to show that in a different uh, viewport. This could be a huge tool to help you uh, very quickly be able to select the correct things uh, faster than what we've done in the past. So this is something that is also available down in the status bar that you can turn on and off whenever you want to do that. So that kind of gives you uh, some real quick tools. Uh, the other thing I want to mention too, and let's say I wanted to grab this information here. In fact, uh, I wanted to work on this particular information here. And you can see that part of my background is part of an extra. Uh, this is where we come in and start thinking about using this isolate tool. So if I come in here and grab isolate, what happens now is everything else instantly turns off. This has nothing to do with layers because you can tell what I just selected there, there is multiple colors there, which is m meaning there's multiple layers there. And I don't have to deal with layer isolate. I can just now very quickly select what I want to work on. Now, you might say, well, how do you get that all back? Down on the status bar, once again, there's a little red light bulb down here. And if I pick on this, and this is very similar to how we have it in AutoCAD Architecture and AutoCAD MEP, I can come in and say, in that object isolation, and now all of a sudden everything comes back up onto the screen. So those very simple tools can really help, I think, through the day-by-day -day operation uh, and help all of us speed up our picks and clicks.